Korea has one of the best public transport systems in the world. Corail is extremely efficient, unbelievably cheap, and also very fast. Hello, I'm Tsubasa. Welcome to my channel. I'm at Seoul Station right now, which is one of the biggest terminal stations in Korea. Today, I'm going to Taejeon Station by KTX. KTX stands for Korea Twin Express, which is Korea's high-speed rail system. Taejeon is located in the center of South Korea, 153 kilometers away from Seoul. It's the fifth most populous large city in Korea. The first thing to do is to buy a ticket, which was quite crowded. It's August now, so it must be a busy season. I tried to buy a ticket from the ticket machine first, but it didn't work. It seems that the seats are almost full. It was possible to buy tickets from the internet, but I guess that the tickets were sold out as soon as they were cancelled again and again. Anyway, I got a ticket lining up at the box office. There are two types of tickets, first an economy class. The one I was able to get this time was the economy. But I was told that I could only get a face-to-face -face seat. This was the first time for me to use KTX, so I didn't know it had a type of face-to-face -face seat. The fare was 22,500 Korea won. I think it's so reasonable. Many trains over here seem to be able to run fast. My train has already arrived as well. It's very crowded anyway. I guess I better get to the platform early. I just bought some snacks and I'm heading for the platform. The train class is the KTX1, also known as the TGVK or Coil Class 100,000. There are several types of KTX trains, but this is the one that has been in operation since Kowal's opening. This train consists of 20 cars, with passenger cars number 1 through number 18, and the first car on each side is a power train. It's based on the French TGV Vezo. KTX was put up to international bidding, and in the end, the order is placed with France. The maximum speed is 305 km per hour, but this is in operation. The technical maximum speed is said to be 330 km per hour in design. It's quite fast as the same level as Japan's Shinkansen. Today, I'll be in car number 13. Alright, let's get into it. The interior of the second class car looks like this. There are four rows of 2 plus 2. And this is my seat. It's indeed face to face. The center of each car seems to be a face to face seat in the second class. I'm an introverted solo traveler, so I would like to avoid these seats if possible. It was still good I was able to get a ticket anyway. They are great for groups of four. You can put your luggage on the overhead shelf. I'll try to spread the table. The sign probably says keep quiet. The seats were comfortable with enough plenty of space. You can recline, though I didn't use it this time. There looks like a radio or something on the other side. The window is large so we can see outside well even from the aisle seat. I'll have a snack. This one had eggs inside. We departed it backward. It takes about an hour to get to Taejeon Station. 
Another one is red bean and cashew nut. They were great. I'm now in the deck space. There are lava trees there. And you'll find a trash can here. And a place to put your large suitcase. By the way, there is actually another ticket class called Standing on this train beside Ferguson Economy. It seems to be a few dollars cheaper. There were folding chairs on the deck of each car, and apparently they were for the Standing class. There look to be two of those in each deck. But it's not always you can have a seat. And a side note, the deck area is a little noisy from moving trains. This is the lava tree. I found it useful with a power supply for shaving and a wash stand. The train stopped at several stations along the way, and there were announcements in four languages, which were very helpful. You can use also free Wi-Fi. I didn't use it though. Many passengers boarded the train from stations along the way as well. The train arrived at Taejung Station on time. This is not the terminal station, so I'll depart soon. It's bound for Pusan Station. This is not a big station. I saw an SRT on the opposite side, which was also a high-speed train. It's operated by a different company to KTX. Two days later, I'm gonna go back from Taejung Station to Seoul Station this time. It's a great bridge with a nice view. I'm now at Taejun Station again. First, I'm gonna buy a ticket at the box office. It was empty compared to Seoul Station. This time, I got a first class ticket. The fare is 33,200 Korean won. It's a great deal, isn't it? The purchase time is 12.10. Let's have a snack and wait. I bought this at 7 11. I forgot the price, but it was cheap. Well, it's time to go. Let's go to the platform. I'm gonna board car number 3. This looks to be the place. The train arrived about 5 minutes late. It's called KTX Santum. Okay, let's go. There are seats for standing on this deck too. The seating arrangement is 3 rows of 2 plus 1. This is my seat for the day. The seat pitch I feel is quite wide. There is a power outlet at my feet, but it looked to be shared with the seat next to it. We have also foot rests. It is a table here. And magazines here.
is equipped with electric reclining functions and also the seat can be moved. The armrests on the other side are there for each person so you don't have to share it with the seat next to you. I put my backpack on the overhead shelf. I'll go out to the deck area once. The lava tree is like this. It's nice and clean. It has a hand dryer too. There are newspapers there and a vending machine here. The opposite side is luggage storage. At the place we enter the passenger area, we can get a welcome gift for each person. There is also water, though I didn't get it because I had a lot of water at the time. Okay, I'll try to open the gift. It contains a wet towel, two caramel peanut cookies, and an ocean nut. That is a common hand towel. Ocean nuts or mixed nuts. The caramel peanut cookies are like this. They are great. The inside of the train is bright, clean and comfortable. Some people get off at the station on the way. We will soon arrive at Seoul Station. We have arrived at Seoul Station. This is the last stop. It was a very comfortable trip, about one hour. I reserved a hotel near Tondemun Gate, but I'm gonna make another video about it later. Another two days later, I'm at Seoul Station again. Today, I'm going to Suwon by ITX. ITX stands for Intercity Train Express, which means semi-high speed well. KTX is faster and so more advantages for long distance travel, but ITX is cheaper. Suwon is located about 35 kilometers south of Seoul. It's much closer than Taejin, which I visited the other day. You can access it by KTX, but I think ITX is sufficient. You can also take a bus to Suwon. I bought a ticket for the 8.48 a.m. It's already 5 minutes before departure. I've got to go right now. The train has already been at the platform. ITX Semaoru has 6 cars. It looks cool. I'm gonna be in car number 2. The inside of the car is very clean. The fare is 4,800 won. My seat is this. We are now departing. And it's scheduled to arrive at Suwon Station in about 13 minutes. The facilities are perfect, despite the cheap fare. There is a foot rest. The headrests are height adjustable. There is a small table here. And of course, we have also reclining functions. There are magazines in front of us. Perks and lights are by windows. You can put your luggage on the overhead shelf. The curtains can be closed. Free Wi-Fi is also available, though I didn't use it for the day. 
The train crosses the Han River and goes south. The deck area is also clean. I find the facilities information here. Restrooms are located in cars 1, 4, and 6. It also has a multi-purpose restroom on car 3. The restroom looks like this. There is a baby chair as well as a wash tan. We've arrived at Suwon Station. The center of Suwon is a world heritage city with many historical buildings. I'm gonna make another video about touring Suwon. Please hit subscribe and also the notification bell if you like it. Thank you for watching to the end. See you again.